what's next for the next few months? Are you doing unlocked? Yeah. Is, live on what's next? Um, well, I'm prepping. I'm, I start with unlocked in three weeks, um, so I'm kind of doing my knuckles are now makeup on. I've been really red. I'm boxing and I'm doing Thai boxing and stuff. Um, I need to be in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> And um, after that, it's between two movies. I don't know which one goes first. So depending on that. Um, but now my focus is on, on, on Unlocked. And if I can just slip in one more before they go. The ladies will ask me, who are you wearing tonight? Um, Antonio. Yeah. Yeah, it's so hard for me to say. Anthony Vaccarello. Vaccarello. It's a, it's a French designer. But I love working with Tom. He's a, an amazing actor and he's a good friend of mine. And the good thing is if you if you have a friendship, you know, you can kind of, you know, you can allow yourself to take risks. You, I know he has my back and and um, it kind of becomes it's a safe place, you know, and you can you can go in any direction. You can allow yourself to try things because I know it. I don't need to prove myself. I don't know. I don't need to kind of go in and show um, and, and, you know, do like perfect takes and be like, oh, no, I can't be bad. You know what I mean? Because I know that we are kind of on a journey together and um, we're exploring things. And I love that. That's the best thing if you can find that with someone. So it's a, for me, it's it's a it's a true joy and you know um, happiness to be working with someone like him. What would you like to see answered in Prometheus Two? What questions was Elizabeth Shaw have? Well, I think she says this in the first one. You know, she want to go to paradise. She want to face. You know, ask these um, creatures, these giant big men, um, why you know they turned on us and, and why they did what they did. And for her, you know, obviously she lost the guy, the man she loved, and she kind of lost pretty much everything. So she, it's a lot of things that she want to ask, and, and I think she's um, there's no reason for her to go back to Earth. So she, you know, <laughs> there's only one direction she can go. To. How did you get in the zone to play a to play in a film set in a crime-ridden Brooklyn? Well, I was there. I was doing research. I was I lived in Brooklyn um, back then, and I was. Um, I was hanging out at this like rescue center for for dogs, um, just like you know, kind of trying to get into a life situation that I thought that Nadia had. Um, and I, I, you know, sometimes I can feel like I'm like a mushroom or you know, a sponge. You know, you kind of go into different situations and you just suck in like a lot of things and you kind of you know transform into different shapes and um, and I was I, I think I was just like listening and studying and, and feeling people and the vibe and, and what kind of lives people were living there. So how is it how is it collaborating with him and the late James Uh Amazing you know I, I work with the best um, crew and the best group of people both like Tom and Matthias and, mm -hmm. and James sure. and Michael Roskam you know they were absolutely amazing and it was really, we, were, we had so much fun. We were laughing a lot. 